I know it's hard to describe why I love this MT-09 so much and why it suits my riding needs and the enjoyment I expect to get out of a ride. But it has a lot to do with the, the torque of the motor, the fact that it's a cross plane, and that that throttle response, no matter what mode you use, and I'm using A right now, no matter what mode you put this in, even in the rain mode, it, the, the throttle response is like it, the motor is always there. It's never peaky. You really don't need to look at the tachometer much, no matter what gear you're in. And no matter when you shift that quick shifter, it responds. And I guess that's part of what makes this bike so much fun to ride. Coming up on 6,000 miles on this bike. And boy, they have been the best 6,000 miles except for those two flat tires. But I always get a kick at it. And I know when I bought the bike, I was reading some articles that said MT. The reason Yamaha picked that, it was supposed to mean maximum torque. And after six to almost 6,000 miles, I come to believe that the, the part of the bike that this, well, the, the part of this bike that makes it special is the engine and not that it has 118 horsepower. Other bikes have more power. But it has the torque down low where it's really fun to use and it's fun to go through that quick shifter. And it, it's usable, unlike some bikes that have a very high peaky uh, 15,000 RPM before anything happens. This bike it's always there. It's always there. You're in a gear that's too high, always there. You're in a gear too low, it's always there. And that's what makes the bike fun to ride. And that's why every morning when I get up, I come out to the garage and it's hard. You look at the other bikes, I got eating me, and I all of a sudden I'm sitting on the MT and I'm ready to go for a ride. Now and I know it's a difficult thing to define why you would be attracted to a certain motorcycle or what about it makes it fun to ride. Now in the case of the 750, it's just a fun bike to ride. It's very, very comfortable. It's, I've got the riding position perfect for me. Then the other thing, when I sat on the MT-09, right away I knew they, they had me in mind. They put a, a, a crash dummy that was exactly my shape and said, put the bars there, put the pegs there, and make this seat that it's unusually comfortable. So little things like that just make a bike more fun to ride. It's a simple thing. And I it's funny that, you, that this would happen, but I definitely have bikes with more horsepower, definitely bikes that are more classic, definitely bikes that are this, that, or the other thing. But I come out to the garage, and I always want to ride the MT-09. It's, it's captivating. And the other side of that whole equation that I know is very sad for some people is they pick a bike, and they think that's going to be their dream bike or whatever, and at some point in time they realize... Not as comfortable as I thought, or even worse, not as much fun to ride. And maybe it would be this, that, or the other thing better, but it's not what they originally dreamed of. But you know what? This is what's funny about the MT-09. And when it first came out as an FZ and Les McDonald had one, I was thinking, yeah, I'd like to have one of them, but I wasn't due for my every once every 10-year motorcycles. And I have to admit, Les used to copy me on all the modifications he made and how much he enjoyed it and this, that, the other thing. And I always thought, well, that would be cool. But he never told me, not once, did he say how much fun these, this bike is. It is just, just captivating. And I go on and on about it, only because I think there's a lot of people have never even taken a test ride on one. And if you do, and you're my size, shape, and riding skill level, you're probably going to love it. And like the RD, you just never know when you're going to fall in love with a bike. And you're going to want to have it forever. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. But anyway, it's a beautiful day. Karen has a few errands for us to do. But we're getting out on the open road. We'll be out on the open road by noon. Anybody hungry this morning? <laughs> what a joke. They're always hungry. They take after me. Come on, guys. Time to eat, baby. Let's go. Time is money. Time is fish food.
At today's ride, the weather really cooperated. And of course, it's a nice low traffic area we're riding in. And I am enjoying the heck out of that quick shifter. All the flowering trees are starting to come into bloom right now. And the yellow forsythias are everywhere. Once you get off the main road, you can just cruise forever. Trick is just get through the populated areas stealth. Once we get off that main road, it just gets nicer and nicer by the mile. And that Michelin 5 is getting friendlier and friendlier. Really starting to have confidence in that tire, that rear Michelin 5. I only got to see one other motorcycle all day. open roads and for Scythias. I think we're pretty much done with the salt here after the last couple days of rain. And you really don't have to run this bike to Redline to enjoy it. In MT-09, it's all about the torque and the quick shifter. And I would have never believed how much I'd love that quick shifter. I got to start researching the other bikes, see if they have quick shifters for them. And by the way, on an MT-09, the quick shifter is a plug and play. I'm really getting spoiled with the roads clear like this.
I don't know how much more fun you can have on a motorcycle, to be honest. If only I could find that fountain of youth. Or I could find that printing press that made $20 bills. But, in second place is the MT-09. And I just hope, as time goes by, I enjoy it more and more. I just never get sick of that bottom end torque. It's wonderful. the only other bike up in this area today. I don't know why. Usually there's just a few bikes, but there's only one today. And a lot of guys have discovered this area, but they don't get to ride all week. And a lot of my, pr my friends prefer the main highways. I don't know why. I just love this area. I could ride here forever. And the nothing is level and nothing is straight. Everything is elevated. And you can do the whole loop backwards and it seems like a whole different ride. To do this loop, I need about three hours. And if I fill up at home, I can make it without having to stop and buy gas. Boy, and over the winter, there was always ice under that tunnel as you get into the nice area. But we are right in the beginning of the beautiful riding season. And from this point on, every ride is just going to get nicer. By the end of this ride, I think it got up around 60 degrees. And pretty soon there'll be leaves on the trees and it'll just be beautiful.
And we're going to hit that time when the trees that are flowering are going to be beautiful. I'm ready for coffee anytime you are. What a great day. Oh, Forsythias are everywhere. We should go for a walk. Yeah, we'll go for a walk. Let me just uh, get out of these leather jackets. I'm in my leather jacket like a bad guy. Maul and Brando would be proud. Yeah, what a nice day it turned. It's actually nice even here. Wow, up north it was even nicer. Ooh, summer's coming. Coming in back there. Yeah, I see. You happy with that uh, white stone? Of course. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to plant. Here's a hyacinth. Yeah, you got a hyacinth down there? Oh my God. Any day now, any day now, I'm ready for summer. I'm sure everybody else is, except the people that live in warm weather climates. Oh, so I wanna, don't want to end the video without thanking the healthcare workers, guys. Thank you so much. It's really, I appreciate it so much. And we had a great ride today. Hope you enjoyed sharing it with us. So we do enjoy riding these back roads, and I just never get sick of them, to be honest. And there's so many of them to explore. Anyway, we do try to post up something almost every day. And from time to time, it gets stretched out. We have family things to do, of course. But we do try to do something every day relating to motorcycling. It's just the way this has evolved over the years, many years, in fact. And I want to, again, I, I just never, I never underestimate the, how nice it is to live in this part of the country about nine months of the year. It is rideable and it changes and the rides always seem different because the scenery is changing constantly. So I hope you did enjoy the video, no matter where you live. And thank you so much for watching.